Hello, my friends. Uh, it's Rich Whitehouse again, and this time uh, Big P Moo has received Jaglink support. And as these features tend to be, it's a little bit complicated, so I figured I would uh, make a video about it. So, when you uh, launch Big P Moo now, you will see a new network menu over here. And you can choose uh, currently only, you know, none or jag link as your device type. Um, there's the potential for like the VoIP um, device that Ultra Vortec uses and possibly like virtual socket stuff I've been discussing with some homebrew people. Um, but for now, this is what you get. So if you want to go into multiplayer, um, obviously you want some kind of network device. So, <laughs> so pick jag link. And uh, you get to pick your name here, which will appear in uh, chat. And there is a new key bind for chatting. You'll see here, T. And uh, if you want to, you can just create a server, and you're actually allowed to chat in the menu. So sending something here, and you can see it there. My beautiful pink name, Dickles, it appears on the bottom, and uh, of course everybody else in the session can see that. And uh, you have the option to set a password for your hosting session, as well as uh, kick and ban people from the session. Um, this, this is basically the main menu where you're going to want to do all that normally. Um, of course there's only one network plugin at the moment, that will probably remain the case for Windows. Um, so, all of that said, uh, a big feature of this, uh, well, before I get into that, I should mention, uh, if you try this over the internet, it's probably going to be horribly broken. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, um, that's due to the nature of that uh, serial interface that the Jaglink uses. Um, a lot of games have uh, interlocking transfers back and forth. And that basically means that for every single byte transmitted over um, that serial interface, I have to translate that into an entire packet, which then goes over the network or the internet or whatever. And uh, obviously, if you start flooding the network with too many packets, the sheer overhead even of a single UDP packet will add up and become pretty massive, and you'll get a lot of packet loss, and things will start breaking. So, uh, that said, I've had... Uh, success with up to eight players um, on my local network over the Wi-Fi playing uh, Battlesphere. Um, Doom seems to run pretty pretty well. Air Cars runs pretty well as well. Um, Air Cars is the only one where it's it's kind of a weird manual setup where each client has to enter their player uh, number, and so if you if you get that wrong, it'll just say oh it's still waiting on whatever the player number is. It doesn't figure that out for itself. So that, that's a little bit of a pain in the ass, especially if you wanted to remotely coordinate um, over the internet. Maybe it's playable over the internet if you have, you know, a fiber connection and you're at super low latency with each other, you're not dropping packets, uh, it might work out pretty well, but don't get your hopes up. That's all I'm saying. Um, but that said, another uh, substantial feature of this is that I've added some options, as you can see here, to be able to uh, effectively create a split-screen session. And so, I'll go over the arguments bit by bit here. Um, I'm using dev mode because I find it convenient um, for all of these clients to have a keybind to quit bound to the same combination, so I can just hit Control q and all these uh, split-screen sessions die at once. Um, and of course, I'm forcing the width for, uh, and height for each of these things to 960 by 540. That's effectively splitting the 1080p screen into uh, four areas. Uh, no border. This is a new option, which basically just creates the window borderless, as you might guess. And always top puts the window always on top. Um, and so what you probably want to do is set up something like this. And so this is saying this first... Um, instance of big PMU is going to be the listen server and this uh, net per client delay command is basically saying this is the number of uh, milliseconds to wait after 
Um, well, not after. Basically, the way it works is the server sends out, when you do a load state on the host, sends out that uh, state data to all the clients. Uh, all the clients sit there and wait and make sure everybody's got their save state locally. And then the server broadcasts out, okay, everybody's got their save state. Now everybody load. And it applies uh, this number of milliseconds and the staggered amount to each client. Um, because both Doom and Battlestar, I noticed, have issues if um, two peers basically try to join at exactly the same time. Uh, I haven't debugged what happens in either of them, but it just locks up in each case. And so this will basically stagger out to each client and make sure there's 400 milliseconds uh, between that load state. And what I like to do is start the game up um, with just a normal client, go into the multiplayer menu for whatever the game is, um, you know, hit start to begin that multiplayer session and, you know, the very frame of that, save the state. Now you've got your save state ready um, for everybody to basically be joining in. And that's the save state that we use here um, with the delay applied. So I'll run this batch file. Oh, and um, let's see here. This one uh, is tricky. So VG input basically means the uh, this instance of big PMU will accept input even if it's not the focus, which you want for something like split screen. But what you're probably going to want to do is run, you know, without this command initially. As you can see, we're using different configurations for each of these instances. So you want to run without the commands, go into each of these profiles, do all of your keybinds, um, and obviously make sure they're not overlapping um, unless you actually want that key to, you know, do the same, uh, same thing on different clients at the same time. And once that is done, you can then run with VG input here, and uh, anything you press is going to go to all these instances. So obviously be careful if you um, hit like a common menu key because you're going to start navigating the menu on different clients and they might be in different places and that can get ugly. So, um, but anyway, we run this batch file here. You can see it's tiling up instances and I've got it intentionally staggered out there um, to basically um, make sure that the order of these clients uh, reflects the order of players also in Battlesphere. So uh, one thing that's quite important that you're going to want to do, and I've already done this in the save state that I've prepared, is you're definitely going to want to go into setup if you're playing Battlestar, Battlesphere, damn it. <laughs> I do that constantly. Um, and you're going to want to uh, turn off <laughs> music and engine because otherwise you're going to have a hideous cacophony of, uh, you know, music and engine noises on all these clients and it's very unpleasant, as you can tell right now. Um, so anyway, the host goes and loads the state. You can see it staggers it into all these other sessions here. Everybody's joining. And takes a bit of that screen. Alrighty. Yeah. Everybody will fix their ship here. Okay, we do. Alright. And uh, well, there it is. So, let's see here. See if we can find one of our peers to blow up here. Let this guy stand still. Must get closer. Get him closer. Oh, I'm starting to hit him. Here we go. Die, buddy. All right. And there I go, flying through with my bird ship. <laughs> All right, so there's that, um, you know, split screen battle sphere, lots of fun. And uh, I got another batch file set up here for Doom. It's a very similar idea. Um, I'm splitting the screen into two because uh, Doom, until uh, CJ Reboot and friends finish, you know, their 
super duper souped up Jaguar Doom. Uh, <laughs> Doom is limited to only two players with a very, very awful uh, asynchronous serial implementation. But, uh, load that up. Similar concept. I've got a save state here where I can load the state up. Why isn't that working? And, uh, yeah. All set. Hey, it's Doom Guy. Yeah, Doom Guy. Okay. Yep, so there you go. Obviously, this is uh, the first time ever uh, anybody has ever played uh, Split Screen Doom on a PC. <laughs> that is, of course, a joke. Uh, but uh, yeah, I believe that's everything you should need to know. So again, uh, feel free to try internet multiplayer. Just don't get your hopes up unless you have an excellent connection with all of the peers that you're connected to. Uh, stuff will be probably horribly broken and or unplayable. But uh, as you can see, it works quite nicely on loopback here. And it seems to work pretty nicely with my laptop over the Wi-Fi as well. So there is some... Uh, threshold for you know timing timing inconsistencies and all that um, but yeah so as always enjoy